Hey, how's it going on guys? I'm Lance with Ball Withdrawal. So the start of NBA free agency starts this Thursday, the 30th at 6 p.m. So for that reason, today we're gonna to be taking a look at five underrated free agents. Now, when I say underrated, I don't mean the player is himself is underrated. I just mean that he's not getting enough discussion relative to his skill set, you know? So starting off, we'll have the honorable mentions. Okay, I have two honorable mentions, both restricted free agents from the 2018 draft class. First, I have Marvin Bagley III, and next I have Miles Bridges. Both are restricted free agents, and I think they're both going to re-sign with their respective teams. Alright, now for the top five underrated free agents of the 2022 NBA season. Coming in at number five, I have Bruce Brown. The 25-year-old unrestricted free agent just had his best season last year for the Nets. Brown averaged 9 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, and 0.7 blocks per game. While the stat line may not be too appealing, it's Brown's efficiency in winning plays that makes him valuable to a championship team. This year, Brown shot 50% from the field, 40% from 3, and 76% from the free throw line. Brown did all of this while being an above average defender and the Brooklyn Nets glue guy. Assuming that Kyrie opts into his player option, which is a big question at the moment, the Brooklyn Nets already have a $157 million payroll for the 2023 NBA season. This is already well over the salary cap, meaning that a new contract in Brooklyn for Brown could be unlikely. Reports claim that PJ Tucker, a player with a similar game to Bruce Brown, will be offered a three-year $30 million deal by the Sixers. If I had to guess, Bruce Brown will probably be offered a deal similar in that $10 to $15 million range. Alright, coming in at number 4 on my list, I have Victor Oladipo. At the end of last season, Oladipo finally made his return after receiving surgery for his lingering quad injury. In 23 games with the Heat last year, Oladipo averaged 11 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists, and a steal. While it appears that Oladipo's former All-NBA self might not be there anymore, he showed that he can still offer some valuable scoring along with some tenacious defense. Oladipo is 30 years old with an extensive injury history though. My prediction is that a contending team offers him their mid-level exception to provide some scoring off the bench this upcoming season. Alright, at number 3 I have TJ Warren. Warren has seemingly been forgotten by the NBA world. In the past two seasons, Warren has only played four games due to a stress fracture in his left foot. Combine that with the fact that he plays for the small market Indiana Pacers, and it makes sense why one might forget about him. Warren's last meaningful playing time was in the 2020 NBA bubble. TJ Warren was unstoppable there. He averaged 27 points, 6 rebounds, and 2 steals during 10 games there, but that was two years ago. It's hard to predict what version of TJ Warren we'll see in the 2022-23 season. Warren is only 28 years old and reports claim that he is a fully, uh, he's fully participating in practices. However, once a player is deemed injury prone, NBA teams will be hesitant to spend on them. The Indiana Pacers have recently launched their rebuild, so re-signing Warren makes little to no sense. My prediction is that Warren will sign a veteran minimum or a mid-level exception with a playoff team. Alright, now at number 2, I have Yusuf Nurkic. In the 2021-22 NBA season, Nurkic put up some of the best numbers of his career before his plantar fasciitis kicked in. In 56 games, Nurkic averaged 15 points, 11 rebounds, and 3 assists. The Bosnian big man is in an interesting situation though. The Portland Trailblazers have made it clear that they want to continue to build and contend with star point guard Damian Lillard. However, they have been listed in conversations around signing trades with Phoenix center DeAndre Ayton. Aiton has proved that he can thrive alongside a star point guard and is younger, more durable, more versatile, and better overall than Nurkic. If the Trailblazers lose the Aiton pursuit, they will definitely re-sign Nurkic. My prediction is that Nurkic will command a $15 to $20 million contract. Alright, coming in at number one, I have Anthony Simons. Prior to the 2022 NBA season, Simons was almost exclusively known as the winner of the 2021 dunk contest and pretty much nothing else. That all changed this past season. Simons averaged 17 points and 4 assists per game while shooting an excellent 40% from 3. That's with 7.8 attempts per game. His averages also shot up significantly to 22 points and 5.5 and assists per game in the 30 games without Damian Lillard. This is a huge leap considering he averaged 8 points and 2 rebounds the previous year. Simons came 8th in most improved voting and only just turned 23. Simons is a restricted free agent this offseason, meaning that Portland can match any offer that the team sent to Simons. I predict that Portland will offer him a lengthy extension, paying him somewhere between 20 and 25 million dollars per year to play alongside Dame. 
So there you have it. That's my top five underrated free agents of the 2022 offseason. Um, if you think some guys should have been on this list that weren't, uh, put that in the comment section down below. Or if you disagree with some of my picks, I'm open to any discussion. Um, also, I'm making this video about four or five days in advance. So hopefully the NBA landscape hasn't changed that much. I'm particularly looking at Kyrie Irving. There's already reports that say he wants out of Brooklyn, but I don't think that really changes the Bruce Brown situation because they're already way over the cap space, even without his contract. So, so yeah. Um, once again, my name is Lance with Ball with a Draw. If you enjoyed this video, uh, like, subscribe, share it to your friends. Uh, yeah, thank you.